on the brink of an economic meltdown. A country of 220 million struggle with sky-high prices. Fuel shortages, industry shutdowns. This what mulk mein petrol jo hai 20 din ka hamare mulk ki regulatory requirement yani kanuni requirement ye hai ki hamare mulk mein kisi bhi waqt 20 din ka petrol hona chahiye aur 20 din ka diesel hona chahiye. Aaj ki tarikh mein hamare mulk mein 20 din ka petrol maujood hai. Uske ilawa jo petrol is waqt samandar mein hai jo hamari ports ke bahar khada hai abhi nahi laga wo iske ilawa hai. 20 din ka petrol maujood hai is waqt Pakistan mein aur takriban 30 din ka 29 din se kuch din kuch ghante zyada yani 29 din se zyada ka diesel is waqt mulk mein maujood hai. A plummeting rupee and dollars barely enough in reserves to deal with foreign debts and cover imports. Pakistan in acute distress but without an immediate financial lifeboat to sail it through. No tangible results yet from 10 days of talks with the International Monetary Fund earlier this month to unlock $1.1 billion from the $6 billion rescue package to prevent the country from default. Pressure mounts on Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif to implement a range of conditions to secure the financial bailout. In order to secure the tranche of $1.1 billion, Pakistan is required to take unpopular measures. The IMF chief has made it clear what Islamabad needs to do soonest. Uh, what we are asking for are steps that Pakistan needs to take to be able to function as a country and not to get into a dangerous place where its debt needs to be restructured. Uh, I want to stress that we are emphasizing two things. Number one, tax revenues. Those who can, those that are making good money, public sector, private sector, they need to contribute uh, to the economy. And secondly, to have a um, uh, fairer distribution of the uh, uh, pressures by moving subsidies only towards the people who really need it. Uh, it shouldn't be that the wealthy benefit from subsidies. Caught between a rock and a hard place, Pakistan has to slash subsidies, raise taxes as part of the terms of its 2019 deal with the IMF. A political adventure for the Shahbaz Sharif government. Meeting the conditions would mean food, gas and power may cost more to ordinary citizens already grappling with rampant price increases. With the general elections due this summer, the dispensation that came to power on the back of its showdown over economic mismanagement risks alienating its voting constituency or plunge the country into default if it doesn't. Bureau report India Today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.